Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a remote console on your server. Remote console, or Archon, is a protocol that allows server administrators to remotely execute commands and monitor console. So anyway, let's get right into it. So the first thing we will need to do is make a new additional port. So to do that, we're going to go to the left and go down to additional ports. We'll then click it. And then on the left, we'll click add port. As you can see, we've got our port 8092. And then in the description, you can put what you want. But I'm going to put Archon for remote console. And then once you've put your name, just click back on the left. And then from here, we're going to go to the left once again and go to the file manager. Once we're in here, we're going to scroll down to server.properties. We'll then go into it. And then if we scroll down around line 30, we have enable archon equals false. And now of course, we're going to want to change this to true. So once you've changed the archon to true, we can then find archon port. This may be in a slightly different position for you. But as you can see, this is the default port. And of course, we're going to want to get rid of that. And we're going to replace it with the additional port that we made earlier. So once again, to get to that, go to your main menu. Go to the left to additional ports. And then these numbers right here is your port. So mine is 8092. So we'll copy that. We'll go back to the file manager and then we'll paste it in right here. And then the final thing you want to find is called archon.password. And this is the password that you will log in to the remote console with. I'm going to make it a super simple password. However, of course, you do want to make this more secure. As if someone does have access to this, they basically have access to your whole console. So once you've set your password and your port, you can click save. And then once you have saved, we can click back. And then finally, we're going to restart our server. So now I'm going to show you an example of how you would actually use it. So in the description, we'll have a link to this website. And this website is a remote console that you can use for your servers. So the login process will be mainly the same throughout all of your remote consoles. However, of course, they may be located slightly differently. However, for this, we're going to click the wrench. And then from here, instead of Arc, we're going to select Minecraft. Then your server IP. Of course, we're going to go back to Pebblehost. And then where it says IP, you're going to want to copy these numbers. Make sure you don't copy the port after the colon on the end. So copy all the numbers before this colon. Go back to the Archon and put in your server IP just like that. So once we've got in our server IP, we'll need to put in our Archon port, which once again will be on this page. And as you can see, ours is 8092. So in here, we'll put in 8092. And then for our password, this is the password that we set earlier. So I made a really simple one, which was just Pebblehost. You can click this box if you want to show it. And then you can click connect. And as you can see, we have successfully connected to our console. Now to show you that this does work, I'm going to run a few commands in our server. Alright, so as you can see, we have loaded into our Minecraft server. Now the first thing I'm going to do is give myself op. So we're going to come over to our remote console. And in the console, we're going to type op strange stan. We'll then press enter. And as you can see, it has made me a server operator. And if we do go into Minecraft, it has said... Archon made strange stan a server operator. And we'll also try something else. We'll do give strange stan and then we'll put in Minecraft and then oak underscore log. And then I'll put 64. And as you can see, it has given me 64 oak logs. And if we do go into Minecraft, Archon has given me 64 oak logs. So yeah, hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.